Uh, my name is Bob Centaur. Uh, I'm at the University of Alabama at Birmingham and spend most of my time at the Huntsville Regional Medical Campus. I started out once upon a time uh, I was going to be a nephrologist. I did a renal fellowship and found out that I really hated rat kidneys and really liked people. So my, my first big decision was I'm not doing nephrology, I'm going to be an academic general internist. Then I started going to a variety of different meetings and getting, getting to know people. Uh, about three or four years later, I was given the opportunity to be the program director for our residency training program. And I took that because I thought it was a great opportunity to advance my skills as a clinician educator and as, and as an administrator. I did that for about four years and then was given an opportunity to be uh, the division chief at an age of about 38. In 1993, uh, I was interviewing uh, in St. Louis and my chairman called me in at MCV and says, don't make any decisions until after February. Turned out that he was leaving MCV to become dean of the University of Alabama at Birmingham. I went down and interviewed and immediately from the other interviews I'd done, I could tell this was the right place for me. This was a place where I could create the type of division I wanted to create. It was an institution that was open enough to allow success. So I was division chief there from 93 until uh, just about six months ago. In my second year up there, I negotiated actually with the faculty to allow me to be a part-time dean on that campus and did the job because I just loved it. I have no career without SGIM. SGIM enabled me to understand what academic general internal medicine was and what it could be. Uh, SGIM provided me with hundreds of friends all across the country. Uh, SGIM gave me a chance to get involved in internal medicine on a larger level than just at my own institution. And all those experiences enabled me to make my institution better because I understood what the possibilities were. SGM does something for everybody in academic general internal medicine. It speaks loudly for academic general internal medicine. It gives us uh, a sense of community and a sense of possibility. Um, as a former president of SGIM, I understand the impact that SGIM has in dealing with other major internal medicine organizations like the American College of Physicians, the American Board of Internal Medicine, uh, the Association of Professors, and SGIM allows academic general internal medicine to be on that stage and in those conversations as we look at the future of internal medicine, especially academic general internal medicine. Uh, it also provides a great journal. Um, but the biggest thing it provides is a sense of community and that's not just at the meeting, although the meeting is the place where we most often personally interact with each other. I interact with SJM people uh, most days. The most important thing you can do is figure out what you love to do and become great at it. The opportunities in academic general internal medicine continue to be wonderful.